guys welcome to my channel my name is Pastina and this is four star clothing today we are going to work on measurements something very very basic that you can learn and yes so very important we know you know we have you at heart so we just want to teach you anything when it comes to styling first of all you have to get our form visit our website and download our forms for those who are outside the country you can visit and then print them out or probably just write them out and then go through the form very basic very simple you can take a look but i'll upload it for you to see so you need a pen or a pencil anything that writes a measuring tape and our form as I earlier stated, the form is online, it's on Facebook, on Instagram, and on our official website. So you can do that for us. Good. Rules and regulations when it comes to measuring. Get somebody to help you out. It is way easier and way better. When you are measuring, make sure that you wear very fitted clothes to help us get the accurate measurements for you. So let's get started. Looking at our form, we have bust measurements so for let's say you you are the person who wants things measured for you you are going to be the dummy and i am a friend let's note we have two sides to a measuring tape we have the centimeter side and we have the inch side please 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 and please when you are taking the measurement and you start with centimeter side please maintain all the measurements in centimeters and then when you start in inches make sure you maintain all the measurements in inches so that we don't have to hustle to get things done and get you the right fit that you would love okay so let's get started on our form we have the bust measurements so for bust you take the measuring tape i'm going to use inches by the way so i take the measuring tape and then i run it through the back make sure everything stays intact that's how the bust measurement is taken so where the metal meets the aligned or measured part that is when you are going to take so for this one i'm going to take 33 and a half that is for the bus measurement. When you are measuring, make sure that the measuring tape is properly run, not too tight or not too loose, something accurate and moderate for us to just get the right measurement. So in between too tight and too not too tight, we have to get this. So I'm having this as 33 and half centimeters. You go to the bus section and then you fill out from for us. Okay. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you need more explanation to how these things are done, please let us know on the comments below section. And then we have waist. There are two types of waist. We have the smallest parts of your body or your waist, and then we have the largest part. The largest part is where you probably put your pants. For me, this is the largest part. That's where we normally put our pants, our skirts, our slates, and all that. So we are measuring the smallest part of our waist. Normally, it's right under the bust so for thus we are going to do this and place the metal right here so this gives us 25 inches for the waist so for the skirt waist you have to come down a little bit further and normally to guide you where you normally place your your skirts your pants and all that as i said earlier so this is going to give us something like 27 inches for the skirt waist then we go to the hip for the hip you have to be very careful because it's, it's sometimes very difficult to get the hip but it's so difficult guys you take the measuring tape you run it over the bust area and the, sorry the hip area and then you take it to to the highest part of the bottles so you make sure that you run it up a little bit up and down to get what you want 
this is 40 inches so not too tight not too loose but something that goes up and down a little bit for us to get the head measurement and then we go to the tie this is the tie so you take it like how you did for the hip you just run it through to get the tie the tie is 23 so this is what is going to guide you to get whatever you want to get that's how you measure the tie and then you go to the trouser bag trouser bag differs it's it's how you want it done so you just run the measuring tape down on this part of your leg to get how wide or how close you just want your trouser bag to be then we go to a cross back ladies this is your cross back so where your back starts and then ends as your cross back so you just place the measuring tape from the side run it this is 16 so this is our cross back for you very easy and simple to do and then we have a round arm okay so it's one of the things that doesn't have an around arm so this is your around arm so you run the measuring tape around the arm just like you did for the tie that is your around arm around arm we need this the largest part and then we need a three quarter part of your around arm and then we need the wrist area so for around arm we need three three points the largest part the three quarter area and then the wrist then we go to the length of the arm so just like you measure um, this you just run the measuring tape from this area to this depending on where you want the outfit to end or fall so we for, basically we need three that is the normal one the three quarter one and then you need your wrist from your shoulder to your wrist as well that gives us a full length of your sleeve secondly when you are measuring for the arm we need you to tilt your arm a little bit not just this way but you tilt it so the measuring tape runs down here tilted a bit then you get what we have here and then you go this way but then when you're doing this you just need this one as i said if you need detailed explanations please let us know in the comment area below the next point is the top length for the top length you take this part of the person that's the highest point then you run it down and this is dependent on the person whether the person wants a long blouse or a short blouse or whatever they are, they are okay with so you have to run it on the bust down for you to get so for me that's not me i would use something like 25 for the top length and using the same top length you you, you how to measure the same top length you use that to measure your shoulder to navel shoulder to navel the navel normally is located here so we use that shoulder to waist and please guys not to be confused some people have their navels way down so if we say shoulder to navel and you feel like your navel is too low you can use shoulder to waist that is the smallest part of your body to get a measurement for shoulder to navel ideally the navel is supposed to be here but sometimes after bed we have the dropping and all that so shoulder to navel still keeping the the, the measuring tape in inches you run it down all the way down for a shoulder to navel so for this i will get a 17 for a shoulder to navel okay so next now let's just ask Kathleen. so for ask Kathleen, you would probably use where you have your your pants your skirt or whatever it is starting from so for skirt length i will take this and then just run it down so for skirt length you give up as many as you want depending we have mini we have um, the knee level we have the three quarter and then we have all the way down for slit trousers and then jumpsuits so just give us as many as you want for the points and we have next we have dress dress length for dress length you start from here and then you run it all the way down to where you want your dress length to be 
So for here, I will get 33, you come all the way down, 43, and then you just go, oh, you keep going, you're going, you're going. As you did for the skirts, you also do the same thing for the dress, depending on the length where you want it to be. But basically, we have the um, short, very short dresses on the thigh, and then we have the knee level, and then we have the three quarter dresses, and then we have the long gowns. So you take that into consideration for us. Now, we have a round shoulder. A round shoulder is where you pass the measuring tape all the way around the shoulder area. So this is around your shoulder. It's rather right unfortunate I don't have a hand on my dummy. So basically, you run the measuring tape all around the shoulder to get the around shoulder for us. So this is your around shoulder. And last but not the least, please get somebody to help you and make sure you are getting the right measurements for us. As we said, this is a very simple step, but you have to be accurate in getting the measurements for us. See you in our next video. We are going to do something very simple for the guys. And we have a form for the guys as well, so you can go through them and then we'll have it illustrated. Stay blessed and don't forget to look good because your clothes are your second skin. Ciao. <laughs>